What's up everyone, Thrall's Metal here once again. I'm the Crack Nick, and I have an album review for you. Again, this one was brought to us courtesy of Screaming Toilet. It's a fun site full of reviews, podcasts, all sorts of cool articles about a wide range of pop culture-centric stuff. Definitely check it out. Link in the description. It's a good time. So today I am reviewing the debut full length from the band Stew with their album People. This is a Swedish three-piece blues rock slash stoner rock band. This came out on Ripple Music on the 11th of October last year. Again, kind of got to this one a little bit late. These guys have one other EP called Hot. I still haven't jammed that one yet, but I can tell you I'm actually interested in jamming it now after hearing this album. So after you get past the intro, which it seems like kind of just like rehearsal noise of them in the studio, kind of leads them to the first track pretty well, but ultimately seems kind of unnecessary. Now, right away, let me preface this by saying this really isn't a metal album. This is more straightforward stoner rock, blues rock. It's very retroactive in the sense that it's very much like 70s rock. So lots of Led Zeppelin, Cream, maybe some Deep Purple in there too. The production absolutely captures that sound. It is very analog sounding. And these guys kind of fit in the whole uh, pack with bands like Rival Sons and Graveyard and even Crobot. Except these guys are a little bit more blues-centric. These guys definitely kind of work that whole blues rock sound. Opening track right on time. Right away you're just getting that sense of this blend between the two. Excellent vocals on here. I really loved how this guy has a excellent singing voice, but there's still a gruffness to it. Which is something I really like in clean vocals. When they're too polished, they kind of throw me off. But when there's a little bit of grit behind them, it just sounds a little bit more powerful. Now these first two tracks, very riff driven, and the guitar work is fiercely blues driven, especially the solos. The solos actually kind of remind me a lot of Tony Iommi's kind of solos, just very bluesy, very nice and squealy. Really dig them, they're very tastefully done. Rhythm section's excellent on this band. The bass work is fantastic. Drums are nice in the pocket, but there's lots of cool creative fills. All in all, from the first two tracks, I really started digging this. And I have to say, one of the standouts on this was the third track, Newborn. This one gets rolling with a nice bluesy intro. It's just the guitar and the vocals with some finger snaps and maybe some light percussion. It kind of builds up the tension, you know, builds up the mood a bit. And the rip that starts carrying the song really reminds me a lot of Alice in Chains, especially the song Sea of Sorrow had it came in with that nice bluesy riff right from the start of that song. And right away, I really loved the fact that it had that same sort of dynamic. It took time to build up the tension rather than erupting like the first two tracks, which were both good. But this had a totally different dynamic to it, and it really just stuck with me. The song is excellent. The bass line is fantastic. It really carries the song, and I think this is one of the best vocal performances on the album as a whole. Now, the more I listened to it, the more I came across like this whole question in my head, whether I liked it because it reminded me of all these old bands that I listened to, or whether I liked it because it's something new. And it was kind of a 50-50 thing. That's the kind of the issue with retroactive movements and music. It kind of plays on nostalgia a bit, and you're kind of left in this little area where you're not really sure if you like it because it's a new band and they're writing some really cool stuff, or it's because it reminds you so much of the older stuff. And this one was definitely kind of a mix of that, to be honest. Play the Fool was another one I really liked on here. This one was definitely more upbeat, the shortest track on here. And this one just kind of just went for the nice flashy rocker of a song. It broke up the pacing a little bit. There's a really cool crawling riff on this song that I just thought was instantly catchy. And this one just delivered a nice kind of hard rock feel overall. Now, quite possibly one of my absolute favorites on this is Goddess. I think this one really takes the slow build in terms of how they construct the song very well. It's the longest track, it's a little bit slower, a little bit moodier, and I absolutely love the bass line that carries this. It's somehow kind of playful and sullen at the same time. It really kind of captures this almost kind of dirge-like mood to it. Now this one, they actually show off some really cool vocal harmonies that really stood out. There were spots in the other songs, but this one, they really worked the harmonies well and they sound absolutely amazing. Now, as I was listening to this, the more I thought about if they had added some cool synths to this, you'd actually have like kind of a space rock sort of feel like Monster Magnet or Hawkwind, and it really would have worked here, but I kind of like the fact that they still kept it very stripped down, and that's a really cool thing on this album. It is very stripped down, straightforward, 
blues rock. But this one stepped a little bit outside of that in terms of just mood building, and the song just keeps building to an amazing point. In a sense, this is kind of the heaviest song on here in a way. It kind of labors more mood building on here, and there is a really cool long solo section at the end that I absolutely loved. I've already been getting Nowhere was one of the softer tracks in here, and I thought it was kind of interesting because at this point I could actually hear some almost 90s rock influences. There's parts in here that really reminded me of Pearl Jam. And this one has like kind of an interesting feel where it is kind of halfway between a dirge and a ballad. Also really reminded me of like Kenny Wayne Shepherd or Johnny Lang in terms of other notable blues rock guys from the 90s. And just a really awesome song. I love how emotional this actually sounds, like they're really sort of burying their souls in terms of the music. It really just adds another level of appreciation for me. Now, Sweet and True is another one I thought was interesting because it gets maybe a little bit funky on there too, and it kind of shows up there it's a little bit more than just the blues rock wheelhouse. There are some songs that favor more blues than others, and actually there's only one I would say that's more of just a straightforward rocker, which is Fruits, and this one actually kind of had like a Thin Lizzy vibe to it. It was a little bit more upbeat and the blues section was dialed down, at least until the end, and it was more of a straightforward rocker. Now it closes with Morning Again, which is just the guitarist doing an acoustic number, and I probably would have liked it more, but it kind of comes in with these samples of nature, which, that's cool, it's atmosphere, it's nice, but it kind of keeps them going throughout the entire track, and it kind of becomes a distraction at a certain point. Like, I kind of just want to hear this guy's little acoustic number, and I'm still hearing birds chirping over and over again, and it kind of lost me there. But overall, I really like this album. It's really enjoyable. It's not metal. I, I wouldn't say it's metal by any stretch. It's just kind of good, heavy blues rock. But it's thoroughly enjoyable. There's great songwriting on here, and just a lot of emotion, I think, that goes into these songs. Like, these guys have a great live feel to them in terms of how they did this album and i really dug it so overall i'm giving it four stars solid listen it's like if you like bands like clutch graveyard and all that stuff definitely check it out this is a really solid band i look forward to hearing releases from them in the future this is great definitely check this out so if you like the review give it a thumbs up and if you are new to the channel subscribe because we do shit like this all the time catch you guys later